Welcome. <laughs> Yo, we got, we got YGC here. Welcome Back to YGC. This is Brandon. <laughs> this is right. Matt. This is Justin. Smarkus. This is Bruce. All right. I think we should start off with Bruce's Popeye story just because. Nah, I'm, we not mean that. Let me hear it, bro. No, no, I mean, say it on camera, bro. Because you were feeling some that. type of way about that shit, bro. Nah, nah, nah. You don't want to say it? Nah, it's just a long day. All right. You, you, want, <laughs> you want to talk about your favorite football team? We can talk about that too. Yeah, you want to talk about your favorite football team? We can talk about We're talking that. about the NFC East, so might as well start off with the Giants. We're going to get that Popeye story. So, out. one day. You want me to do a rundown of what your team did? Uh, I, I already know. Oh, you, you, got wanna, the, you just want to go into it. You got the Kayvon Thibodeau draft. Tough. Mm -hmm. Who else you got on that, baby? Oh, so you want me to do a rundown? No, nah, no, nah, I just want to see uh, who else you got drafted. Oh, Evan Neal. Offensive tackle from Alabama, pick seven. You guys also uh, Rondell Robinson, wide receiver from Kentucky. I know you like them Kentucky boys, even though it's football. It's trash at football. Yeah, not, not at receivers. <coughs> yeah, you kind of read about that. You also, uh, your big addition was Matt Breida, running back from Buffalo, and Tyrod Taylor. Because yeah, I know you're not high on Daniel Jones, so great that makes sense. He's yeah, a great, great backup. backup. The reason you guys didn't really sign anyone is you guys were in cap hell. Um, couldn't even have a full fifty-three man roster. Yeah, actually. that was yeah, that was a thing. And that's new because that's that's old. Yeah. That's, that's, that's <laughs> Dave Gettleman. He's money. gone. He's Bing gone. <laughs> Dave Gettleman's gone. You bought in GM Joe Shane over from Buffalo, and he bought with him Brian Dable to become head coach. And we also Fantastic. please help Daniel <laughs> Jones. Also, Wait, wait, wait. Daniel Jones, also, you got to remember this year, his fifth-year option contract got canceled because you know why? It's contract season. So either he shows up or he don't show up. Do you, you think he see? shows up? <clears throat> nah. At least if, like, Elon Manning and Peyton Manning pull him to the side, talk to him, like, mm -hmm. really get him right, get him, like, in the film room, get him more confident, get him better accuracy. Mm hmm so I mean, he could keep the miracle. speed. Just make him better. And, yeah. and his, he and just make him all around better. <clears throat> nah, 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 nah. His, hand, his hands is A1. You already know. You, you saw that catch. It's Pettis to Jones. Oh, what a catch by Daniel Jones. Oh, my that God. It was down like down one AC. catch, bro. Okay, okay. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Hopefully, <laughs> Brian Dable could uh, do his little magic what he did with Josh Allen. Yep. For Daniel That's Jones. Hopefully. Hopefully. But we'll see. We'll see. Bruce, where would you rank Daniel Jones? Out of all the quarterbacks, he all is the, the worst quarterbacks. quarterback in the league. He's the He's worst the starting quarterback <laughs> in the league. Why did you, yes. why did you say so, that? Like you answered like a, a question from for a jury or some shit. Right? Like yeah, that, bro. He's he, the worst he quarterback. One hundred percent the worst quarterback. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. He's no, number thirty-two. I gotta be confident no, about okay. my answers. Like we got court. He is the worst quarterback in the league. Bro. Okay. And Justin, how do you feel about that? I don't know if he's the worst. He I might be. be. Who would you say is the worst quarterback in the league? As a matter of fact, the worst one by one. The worst quarterback in the league. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. Starting right now that it's going to next season. No funny shit. Your man's Justin Fields might be the worst. Ooh, maybe. Ooh, we. I might be chatting just to get him pissed off, but. Drew Justin Ryan. Fields? How, how do you going to say someone after the rookie year is the worst quarterback in the league? That's exactly. So shut your mouth about uh, Zach Mr. Wilson. Drew Locke. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> Set your mouth about Zach then. It probably is Drew Locke. It's between Drew and honestly, it's Daniel Drew Jones Locke. might be the worst. Yeah, he might be. It's between him and Drew. Same draft class, bro. Yeah, that draft class was fucking awful, yeah. quarterback-wise, outside of uh, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray might not even be like that either. Yeah, he might. Number one pick, he might not be worth it. Oof, I'm saying. Yo, right. bro. Yo, bro. You with that fire nose, bro. You was just voting for the Giants like five years ago, bro. What's good with I've you? always been a Saints fan. Bro, yo, what's good with you, bro? What happened when Odell left? <laughs> Damn. You left? He left too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. He was chairing for New York, bro. This is the thing. How was I cheering for you? Right. How do you, you feel about the Giants? for the blue. Man. You personally, you, yeah. facts. you personally, how do you feel about the Giants like state right now? What about the draft too? They, yeah. They're yeah. they're they're in a they're in a state that they're they're not trying to contend for the playoffs. They're just trying to uh figure out uh what's happening and try to fill up fill uh fill up the holes. They've been trying to they figure out them. what's so, happening for the past for three, years. four, five, six years. <laughs> they're rebuilding. What do you mean? They, they was afraid of rebuilding. They thought they could go on the run How with can, Odell. You can't, you can't afford to be afraid of rebuilding, though. <clears throat> yeah, but once they got Odell, they was winning games, and so they thought they could go on the Look run. Look at their division, Eli too. It's like... Yeah, and Eli was still there, so they were trying to get a last little bit of his legs. 
I mean, now, now, now that have. he's gone, it's been rebuilding process and trying to figure out the holes. But they're not they're not doing nothing. Look at the Giants the past few they years. They are right trying here. to do something. They just got bad picks. They've been trying to do something for the past two but years, though. Yeah. Picks, this is this isn't the NBA. This isn't the NBA, Bruce. You, if you're gonna get the, draft the picks, Knicks, the Knicks are never trying. Too. I'm not talking about the Knicks, bro. We don't have to talk about the Knicks. You know, we get high <laughs> with that shit. That's crazy. Yeah, we don't have to bring that up. Um, <laughs> this is football, an NFL topic. Most likely, all your draft picks, if you're a good GM, you're hitting on, like, 60% of them. They've hit on, like, 20%. Like, yeah, who was like, the last really good draft pick? They missed on a quarterback, biggest position. Yep. Cornerback. Over drafted a quarterback from that moment. They did it. Andrew no Thomas was, was a bad high. pick. Like He was a good pick at the moment. At no, the moment. but he's he, – year two he's finding his has own, played a lot better. But – yeah, come on. He they got so much. He compared to what, all right, it, he was bad. Yeah, Tristan Wirfs is still yeah, right Tristan there. Yeah, Tristan Wirfs is the he's the best tackle from that class. Yeah, like yeah. if you're gonna say he is worth the sixth pick, it's like it's still mm-hmm. proven to me right now. Especially when Tristan Wirfs comes behind him, mm-hmm. it's a missed pick at the end of the day. Like, mm-hmm. and you know, well, especially he, if Andrew Tom, I think he's still gonna play left, but if he moves over to right. Yeah, the reason Tristan Wirfs fell all the way to the Bucks is because most teams wanted a left tackle. Yeah. Andrew Thomas, left tackle. Makai Becton looked at as a primary left tackle. Jedrick Willis played right in college, but he also protected two as blindside. So, naturally, you could protect the blindside in the NFL on the left side. Tristan was a right tackle. But now you look at all these guys. Well, Makai especially. Makai's probably moving to right this year. Uh Thomas could. I know Evan Neal is probably going to end up playing right tackle, but who knows how camp goes. Yeah. So, you definitely could have taken worse in that situation. But then Kadarius Tony, uh, we can go down to... The whole entire list yeah. right now. Yeah, he says healthy. No, no, no. He can be I, great I agree. Bro. I agree with you with the uh, the Tony situation. But yeah, I felt they, like I personally felt like they should have just got rid of Daniel Jones and got Justin no, Fields. No, well, Darius Tony. If if you wanted a wide receiver there, if you're not good at drafting, you know my philosophy. If you're not good at drafting, is draft up and get your guy. Especially if you're going to sit back. If you want that position, get your number one at that group. But they haven't. Well, Daniel Jones was aggressive, I guess. I don't know. They just suck. Suck. They they just suck. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. It is suck. a different That's regime it. now, though. This I isn't Gettleman making these picks. Gettleman was a horrible draft. It was horrible with his money in free agency. That's that's gone. That's like, gone. yeah, their yeah. draft, their dead cap's gonna hurt them for a little bit. But you got Joe Shane. He made the right pick. The only critique I have of their draft is I think Iki Aquanu was the number one tackle prospect. Mm-hmm. It seems like Carolina was going tackle regardless of who was there. They probably could have taken Icky at five. Then Carolina goes Evan Neal, let's just say. And then Kayvon is still there at seven. And a combo of Icky and Kayvon is a better combo than Evan and Kayvon in, a, in the draft. So you think Icky has more upside than... I think than, Icky has a lot more upside than, than Evan Neal, than really. Neal. Yes. I mean, what's Icky size compared to Evan Neal's? Evan Neal is a big, 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 Evan Neal is a big, is a big yeah. dude. Like, I I, but, I, yeah. I'm pretty sure Icky's might weigh around the same. Okay, because Rashawn Slater is not the biggest guy. Like, mm-hmm. I'm not a whole entire, um, I'm more footwork. Icky, Icky's a mauler. Yeah. Like, he will run through you. He's I like mean, he's kind of like Makai, but he's not 6'7". He's 6'4", but he still plays that very, he plays very aggressive. He's really good in the run. Okay. Like, so, at go- worst in the league, he's going to be a really good run blocker. If we're going into the run, how do you feel about Saquon this year? What is he giving you? Uh. Oh, yeah, Bruce, let's get, hear it. He's giving us, like... If he doesn't get hurt, I, I feel like I could see another thousand yard season on him. Okay, but where do you see Saquon as a back? Where do you it, rank him? Yeah, well, I as a Giants fan, is he, yeah. is he top ten? He's top ten when he's healthy. Is he top five? He could be top five. Is he top three? Could be top three. Could he be the best running back in the league? <sighs> no, no, no. He can't. Oh, okay, who do you guys know? This is top hand, three. Nah. No, no, best running back in the league. What do you mean? He Wait, could. You, he could. you saw his rookie season. That's do you know his how many first good year. running backs are in the league right now? You think he'd be better than um, that's his Jonathan year. Taylor? Jonathan yeah. Taylor, Jonathan Dalvin Taylor. Cook, Nick Derrick Chubb. Henry. Derrick, Derrick Henry. Henry. That's what? His, that's his first Bro, that was his first year. Right? He uh, was crazy. Are you ready to say? Nah, he got, he got hurt. He got hurt ever since then. He never has played. Now nah, he either so could he come back. So he can't stay on the field. Wait, wait. Either hold, he hold could on. come back either he could come back washed up or he could come back actually good still. I don't Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Marcus Shunga. The Giants are going to do... What they've been doing with Saquon this year, just like the previous years, that means run him into the fucking ground until he gets hurt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. As soon as he's healthy, they're just hitting him. Oh, he's going to get a lot of carries. Yeah. He's going to end up getting hurt against. He's going to get a lot of targets. 
Um, if he gets more targets you out his, the back, his, his, his rookie season was sensational. Was crazy. Was great. All right. So, my fault on that. No, you go, you go. Today, we're going to do um, live schedule breakdowns. So, we'll get everyone saying how much they think it's going to be, uh, how much wins they think it's going to be total. Uh, but so, let's start. Giants, Titans at Tennessee. It's these who? It's easy. It's the Titans win 10 <laughs> times out of 10, 11 times out of 10. They lost. Hmm. Yeah, they probably gonna lose that. Gonna come out with a W. They could. L. Titans win. Yeah, yeah. Titans done. Yeah, Titans, Titans win again. Oh my gosh. Giants. I see where Bruce is coming from. Not. I know he might be having a bias. He probably doesn't even. But I know the D line. <clears throat> All right, week two, at Giants, Panthers. Giants. Really. Really? Yes. Oh, my Baker God. Mayfield, Baker fanatic? Mayfield. The, you, just told, you just told me Baker Mayfield is better than Daniel Jones. The Giants. Like, I'm so confused. I'm the so Giants confused. win that game because the Panthers are coming off of a high from winning week one against Cleveland. Really? Yes. I think Cleveland I like beats the Panthers, and then they come out, they beat an already beaten down Tennessee team. They just, Baker Mayfield's too much for them. Okay. You would say that. Oh, I'm just trolling, bro. Christian McCaffrey, dog. Christian McCaffrey's going to go crazy. So the Giants Sa- team- Saquon's not there either? The They're Panthers both not defense there. defense is all right. And the Giants' defense is all right. I don't know. I, I trust CMC <laughs> a little bit more, bro. I'm sorry. All right. Oh, so yeah. I, know, I know you trust you? Baker and CMC more yeah, than Daniel Jones and Saquon. Than... They won in that game? That's Brown only because Daniel Jones did. Like, like, against, like, against Carolina? Yeah, no, they're yeah. Not are they winning that game? Yeah, they're winning the game. I don't, I don't see them winning that for. Like, it feels like right, against yo. the Titans or Carolina. So, right. in all Carolina's honest, gonna be close. I think Giants win against Carolina. I, I think, think Giants. I think Giants win. pull that out though. Mm-hmm. I think Giants get done. I think that um, Baker Mayfield and uh, Christian McCaffrey is a really, really good mix. Like mm-hmm. that's gonna be good. He had Nick Chubb and Cream Hunt. Yeah, it, it better be. <laughs> what about them screenplays? He's gonna get it right on the money. <laughs> I guess you're right. Cowboy Giants. Oh yeah, at, Matt. Yeah, uh, at MetLife. I uh, don't matter. Cowboys. Yeah. Cowboys. 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 There's, this is the Giants are probably the only team in this division in this division that I don't see a scenario they want it. It's a very tough scenario. So everyone got Cowboys. Yeah. Cowboys. All right. Bears. Giants. The shit bowl for Giants. you. Oh, shit my. bowl. Shit bowl. No it's funny Giants. shit, bro. I don't know. I'm agreeing with Bruce on this one. Giants are going to win that game. Oh yeah, they're definitely winning that game. Giants, Giants are winning. Giants are going to win that game. The Bears are just a dumpster fire. I think Giants win this game. The Giants are being just... two of his favorite quarterbacks. Daniel Jones is going to be two of your favorite quarterbacks in the league to piss to make you happy but piss you off. In the first four He's going to beat Baker and he's going to beat Fields. And what? I don't mean literally Daniel Jones is going to do it. I'm not saying he's going to throw for five fucking touchdowns. I hope they do. But they I think they, the Giants have a better yeah. team than he's the Bears. To... I don't think they're winning the game. And I think they match up okay with the Panthers. Bruce, what do you think? Uh, I agree with Justin. But, like I said, Daniel Jones has a really good supporting cast. Justin Fields does have no supporting cast. His coach is actually horrible. The only, we don't know that yet. I and, guess. Yeah, keep going. And, and his team is just, like, mid. The only, and the Panthers, Baker has a good supporting cast. But it's, like, it's his first year on the team. so And it's, like, his second game. Justin Fields has more upside for me as a QB. Hundred percent. I was chatting earlier. Hundred percent. If he took a leap this year, I could see him outplaying Daniel Jones easily. But I'm gonna say Giants right now because we haven't seen Justin Fields. Uh, Giants Packers. Packers. Oh my God. Packers. Packers. Ellie, 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 Ellie. Turn on to the next one. <laughs> Super L. Ravens Giants. Oh. Oh my God. Ravens. Ravens. This is where the L's come. Giants Jags. Giants. Bro, I don't, I don't know. I'm going to go with the Jags. Jags. Yeah. No, Jags. Say Jags. Jags. Jags, Jags come a lot in. in the Jags, Jags catch them off. Yeah. Jags will get them that week. So we're saying L? With, I nah, think Jags will I mean, I don't think. L for I don't the think, Giants? Wait, yeah. I don't think. I don't think. Wait. What was that? A three game loser streak you just said? That'd be a three game if yeah. they lose to the Jags. A they're three two, game, and, a they're three two and two, loser, and then they go two and five. A three game losing streak, and then you play possibly a team that you go win. I mean, I feel like that's like confidence right there. Like you get that and get the ball rolling again. So. Okay. That that should be a W. Because the, right, so. they're coming off, they're upset. Like they lost three games in the season, like already. So they're gonna they're gonna come in head of steam on that one. If you say that, that's perfect. They're not gonna come like a days ago. They got Seahawks next. And yeah, that's that what the Giants. Yeah, that, yeah, they're that's gonna they're, they're gonna go on their win. run right there. They're gonna start their run with the Jags. Then, then the they Seahawks. have the Texans. 
Set you up, bro. And then the Lions. <laughs> so what it sounds like? They win the Texans and lose the Lions. Y'all are not beating either of them. What it sounds like? So far, the Giants have an easy schedule. Yeah, no, that's a really oh, fucking yeah, easy nah. schedule. Jesus. All right, so if all that, Bruce, if everything that you're saying happens. You know what? This, you know what's going to happen? You're going to play bro, yourself out of a top quarter. Yo, you know that run is crazy, bro. That's like a 4 k winning streak run. Bro, they are not going to play the Jags lackadaisical after they lost three games. It's not that. No, it's not, no way they're going it's not lackadaisical. Like it's they're, you have Brian Dable, rookie head coach, going against a Super Bowl winning head coach in Doug Peterson. And I think Trevor <laughs> Lawrence in year two is. Definitely going to be better than Daniel Jones. So he has in, more weapons. In Bruce's world right now, the Giants are six and four, going to Dallas to play the Cowboys, and they get spanked. Week eleven, spanked. Okay, six and five, Commanders win. Where, wait, where's that whoa, game? Whoa, no, whoa. actually, no. You know what? I'm giving the Giants the win because Daniel Jones always fucking spanks them. At MetLife, it's at MetLife. Mm-hmm. I'll take the Giants on that one. Eagles, Giants. I got Eagles. Eagles, Eagles, Eagles. 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 Mm-hmm. Eagles. Commanders again. Commander yeah, split with they them. They split. Yeah, they're going to split. That's no Washington, split. Right? No split. Yeah. yeah. No split. Commanders I wouldn't be, yeah. again, wouldn't be surprised with a sweep. Daniel Jones always plays them good. But you know the Redskins and Giants are always like... Do push-ups. You said Redskins. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. Commanders. <laughs> Vikings. L. Yeah. Vikings are winning it. Yeah, I got, I got Vikings. Is I that, got Vikings on yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, Colts. L. Colts won that. Colts yeah. won that. Yeah, Colts won that. Their O line is crazy. Maybe late season, they may be out of it. You never know. But. Nah, they'll be playing for division. I think. You think so? And then Eagles one more time. And yeah, yeah. I think Eagles oh, will probably mad. still be playing for division so, at that point. So, so what would it be? I'm pretty sure that would be eight. Well, you guys are like split, a, so it would be seven. That's like a seven, seven ten, and, yeah. six, and yeah. eleven. Season I got them probably. going seven and ten this so, season. Well, that be seven and ten. Yeah. That brings the over under. That's sitting at seven wins. All right, that's if they sweep Jaguars, Seahawks, Texans, Lions. I'm taking the under. Okay. I'm, done. I'm taking it over. Yo. Not, not, a, bad bet. not a bad bet. They it really is. They could Sorry. go 8-9. and nine. They could go 8-9, and nine, but a lot would have to go right know. for them to go 8-9. Seven nine. games? A, lo- a lot would have to go right for I'm not Yo. betting it. I'm betting. I'm taking the under. Yeah. If a lot goes right, they go eight and nine. This is one of my locks right here. If I'm a betting man, they, they, a lock? the under, yeah. Daniel Jones, like, unless he just Josh Allen's it completely and takes a, a crazy leap or Saquon is having the best year of all time and Thibodeau's, like, prime LT and comes out and just starts dominating, what do they have that can win them football games consistently? Honestly, against a good team. <clears throat> yeah, a good team. Oh, no, no. But, like, but, like, these teams yeah. are going to be good teams on certain days. Like... It's any given Sunday. Yeah, this is middle of the season. This is not late where no one's playing for nothing, bro. Bro, like, yeah. the Giants I, have easily like the easiest schedule. Oh, a hundred percent. Oh, so yeah. they they need. Don't them and the, commi- <laughs> them and the Commanders have the hard, easiest schedule, right? Or yeah. they're, they're like top four. The whole NFC. No, it's has the, the easiest Giants, schedule. and they're still yeah. under five hundred at the end. I just of the season. I, I just feel like, like I said, I'm completely biased, but I know you're biased, but like but it's like, bro, come on, four Lions, four straight, bro. Texans. They're losing to the Texans. And they Lions. might. Yeah. They're gonna the lose Jack to the Jaguars. Yeah, yeah, got, yeah, got me convinced right there. But the Lions and Texans. The Lions I mean, have a much yo, better roster. You just look. You just yes. look and see Jared Goff, and then you're like, Ugh. and you see exactly. the Lions. You're like, Ugh. we'll know midway through the year about the Texans because they have a, a dark horse quarterback there. They do. And yeah. then the Lions. I think Jared Goff is better than Daniel Jones. And who's I think that they receiver they drafted? Jameson Williams. He'll be. He's back. injured. Jameson will probably be, be playing then, though. Yeah. He'll really? probably be playing by then. What week do they play? They're uh, late, right? It's October. He has torn ACL. Yeah, late. ACL? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But he's, like, recovering tremendously. Oh, he's bad. nasty. He's kind of yeah. Deshaun Jackson. He is so bad. nasty. Oh, he plays just like Deshaun. Him and Amon Ross. Same. That's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, they have a really good, yeah. That's Boy. what I'm saying. So, what do you guys grade in the offseason? New new regime and everything. I'll be late. I'll give it a... Because most of it is going to come... They're, they're a rebuilding team. It's coming out of the draft. I'll give them eight. They got two players that are going to be playing in some of the most important positions on a football team if you want to be a winning mm-hmm. team. Uh, Thibodeau and Neal are really going to help them grow. Uh, maybe Tony takes a leap. But mm-hmm. like they, they get him more offensive line help. My one question with Tony is that they drafted Wondell Robinson. Yeah. Over. When are they? they drafted him over a few guys. Um, I'm pretty sure Sky Moore was still on the board. Pretty sure 
George Pickens was still on the board. Yeah. I know for a fact George still was. There was a lot of guys that I was like, and also because he plays just like Tony, which yeah. I'm not against like having two guys that are similar, but in an offense where you're already giving Kenny Galladay so much money. Yeah, true. And you still have Sterling Shepard, even though he probably is on like the back door of his like tenure there. Mm-hmm. But then you draft two guys that play very similar, yeah. which it could work, but it, especially when you had the whole trade rumors in the beginning of this season, off season. True, but that could work really well. <clears throat> both of them say exactly. It, it could, could work, work really well, well, but it also is like, do you want two guys that play exactly the same? But even if all right, so say Tony isn't as good as everyone thinks, mm-hmm. you have another person who could replace him early. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I get yeah. that. Yeah. Are we, so, talk, are we talking about Kadarius? Yeah, yeah. Talking right about Kadarius, yeah. yeah. And he could run the route tree. Yeah, he knows how to run routes. He yeah. needs he to be. get in the end zone, though. That I agree with that whole yeah. offense does. Like, Galladay and Kadarius, Tony, there shouldn't be any excuse why they're not getting in the end zone. True. Because yeah. zero, zero touchdowns last season, unacceptable. That's mm-hmm. disgusting. You got to start looking at who's throwing the ball. Hopefully, you know. Yeah, see. This this is this is the gold part about this season, right? Mm-hmm. Like I said he canceled the fifth year option for Daniel Jones. This is contract season. Now, if he doesn't show up, there's another QB up next. We call, hopefully we call uh, him up Ryan next. Day will help him. So, yeah, and, yeah, true. and if he performs, now we now we got something. We'll see. I but hope they're so, not bro. gonna throw Brad at him some, crazy because he, he just uh, performed for one season. Depends yeah, he, on how, how, how he you don't know. It depends, if but he it's not. It's not jump. like, bro. They're not gonna give him like no nothing crazy, bro, because he hasn't really like. If, if he takes an Allen jump, he'll get a lot of money. He'll get a lot. He of money. has to. He has to take that leap. Because you're talking like, like a top ten QB. If he plays no, like a top ten QB, true. Nah, 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 not top ten. Not top ten. Top ten. Nah. I'm saying, saying if he plays like a top ten, he'll get paid. Top five. Top five. I would jack is not a fluke, but top ten. Top ten. Top ten. That could be like a fluke season. He'll get money though. Right. If he if he gets a top ten season, are you taking a one year prove it deal for him? Or are you taking the money? Like two or three years, I give him. I would do two, three years. But you would stay with Brian Dable, 100%. And yeah, you have to. Yeah, you have to stay with Dable. Yeah. All right, All right. so you if have he takes at, the jump. You I'm, have not, the I'm not giving him a five-year contract at, if he performs this season. No, he wouldn't get that, probably. Unless he played, like, <laughs> if he played top five, he would get that. But yeah, top he ten, would he would get a pretty hefty three or four-year, I bet. Not a five-year, but. No, you no. get three or four-year. Free agency. Yeah, at least 30 million, too. They couldn't do anything. Yeah, yeah we'll show you money. cap after that. We'll show <laughs> all season grid for one for, to ten. For a rebuilding team that had couldn't even have a 53-man roster, I think they have 49 yeah. at the end of the season. And a new regime coming in, and the draft they just had, I probably, I'm probably with Brandon here. I give him an eight as a rebuilding team. Okay. I'm going to give him, the only, it's not even their fault. It's their old regime. It's a six just because they couldn't do anything for agency. Like you, I remember like during like when it first started, it was they couldn't do. They were talking about they couldn't do anything. It was impossible to assign people because of their cap situation. So just because you didn't acquire, you were a bad team last year, Terrible. and you lost a lot of. You were a bad team, and you lost James Bradbury, your best corner. Yep. You lost. I don't think he's that good, and I don't think most people do. But Evan Ingram was your number one tight end, and he's now gone. Jabril Peppers walked. Will Hernandez, regardless if he was that good or not, walked. Logan Ryan walked. You were a bad team, and those are, like, some of your best players you had on your team last year, and you couldn't even bring in vets to replace them. Oof. You're going to – and, again, it's not, the, it's not the current regime's fault, but it's still the Giants as an organization couldn't make anything happen. So that's why I'm going to give it a six. If I'm just counting their draft, you're bumping me up to, like, an eight or a nine. But – Probably like an eight, but I'm gonna stay with six just because of how their free agency went. What about you? Respect that. Wow, Justin, that was impressive. Thank you. Right? You look like you do this. I I kind of do. I dabble here and there. He does this. I'll give him a I'll give him a seven. I'll be. Bruce, the giant fan. Yeah, you guys already know the number ten. Yes, sir. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Ten. Ten. See, with a straight face, I need this. No, yeah, it's (laughs) no, it's literally a ten. Cause listen, right. The, the, all right, I understand the goal of this is we trying to get to the Super Bowl the next season. That that's the whole point we doing all this, all season stuff. But it's it, it's a process, you know. Maybe it's a two or three year process. They had to get rid of all their vets. Yeah, they didn't have enough cap space to pay Brad Berry because he's like, all right, like okay, you were like a top ten corner, but it's like we don't have the we don't have the bread, bro. Like you gotta go. Bruce. So now they're coming in. They're coming in with young guys. They're coming in with young guys. Bruce. 
Bro, wait, wait, listen, 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 listen. Bruce, 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 Bruce. Bruce. The, look in your division. Did the did the Giants have a better offseason than the Eagles? We're gonna get to the Eagles, but did they have a better offseason than the Eagles? Because if the if the Giants is a ten, the Eagles is a fifteen. Like it breaks the scale yeah. at that point, bro. It breaks like scale. you got you got to scale reasonably, bro. Scale reasonably. Scale reasonably. But, reasonably. But, it's but, not but reasonable. Eight. Right, he's scaling with his heart. Nah, he's scaling with his heart. <laughs> Eagles, Eagles got a ten for he sure. Said, he might have ten. You, you about to get your feelings hurt in the division, bro. That's the best team. Yeah, yeah, it is. The Eagles are the best team in the division. Giants are easily the worst, though. But they're making these moves. They're 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 firing their GM. They're they're getting a better ho- head coach. Like they're making moves for two or three years later. These are not moves for the actual next season. If you kind of get what I'm saying, I, I like the, the future's bright. Yeah, the future's, future's bright. bright. The future, right. the future is getting bright. The tunnel was getting darker. We saw Eli go. We saw Odell go. We saw everybody go. <laughs> we seeing Saquon get injured. You saw how dark that tunnel was, bro. Come on, bro. We yeah. seeing daylight. Now, so, okay, yeah. I, I agree with that. I agree. Daylight, I see where you're coming from. You know what? We I see agree. daylight, bro. We haven't seen daylight in a minute, man. It's, it's yeah. getting better. Their days are looking uh, better. For, for Find you, your QB, fans, I guess it's a 10. I get it. Yeah. Find yeah. your QB, yeah. though. It's been a rough few years. I was just saying. Maybe, maybe it's Baker yeah. after he performs in Carolina. Maybe you guys give him, bro. Let's hope Kayvon Thibodeau gets 10 sacks. No, facts. <laughs> yeah, really. Honor the Eagles. Yeah, yeah. The Eagles. I'm a team that somehow snuck into the fucking playoffs last year. Did not think they were going to be that Fly good. Eagles, last year, I'm not going to lie. Did not see that happening. Nope. The game against the Bucks ended off. Jalen Hurts underperformed. Uh, he was like 23 of like 46 or 49, something like he that. Had bad, he had bad games. I mean, the that game, game. It was bad when he did. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Marcus. Go ahead. That game against Tampa Bay. One of the worst performances I've ever seen. Yeah, it was bad. People blamed Win. People blamed a whole bunch of other stuff. What about their secondary in this game? Here you go. Downfield. Watkins is overthrown. Tom Brady went like 29 or 37 or something like mm-hmm. that. Tom Brady absolutely destroyed he, them. He, that's <laughs> what he does, though. He yeah. was going crazy. That's what he does. Well, that's a pro. I like the seven seed um, playoffs for each uh, conference, mm-hmm. but you're going to get the occasional seven seed that it shouldn't be a playoff team. And yeah. it's going to get mauled by the second seed. Oh, um, yeah. I'll get the departures out of the way for Philly. They really only lost anyone. The only person notable is Steven Nelson. He went to Houston. Yeah. Of course, traded for A.J. Brown. Oof, signed him to a four-year, $100 million deal. What's happening, man? Hey, let's do it, man. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Man's crazy. Let's do it, man. Hey. They gave up the 18th and the 101st pick. Mm-hmm. Um, Hassan Riddick. James Bradbury. Nice dog. They kept a lot of their starters from last year, so you ha- you add pretty um, solid um, pieces they along got with A.J. Brown coming along in the trade. Kaiser White from the Chargers. Yes. Great linebacker piece. We want to get into the draft. Jordan Davis. Ooh, Jordan Davis. They monster. N'Kobe Wait. Dean late. N'Kobe yeah, Dean. They got, uh, what's his name? High upside. Cameron Jurgens, the center from Nebraska that Jason Kelsey pretty much handpicked himself to be his replacement. Yeah. They had a really good fucking offseason. Yeah, they had yeah. a really, wait, wait, really good they, offseason. Wait, they got James Bradbury? Yeah, yeah Snatchy. Yeah, they got James Bradbury. He's staying yeah. in the division. Snatchy. He, he, he stayed in the division. He said, fuck you. Snatchy is right, right from you guys. Why he went to the ops like that? He did. He said, fuck you. <laughs> he he really went to the most rival team. Yo, bro. Bro, he's <laughs> trying to win a ring. He's trying to win a ring. He said, y'all were sorry. Win, you didn't help yeah, him out, bro. Saying, no, he was tight because we was like giving him bread. Y'all should have paid him. I think he took. I want to say he stole a lot of your bread when he got cut. You no, definitely, we, we you fake, definitely got fucked need, with dead money. You fake oh, need bread. <laughs> oh, you yeah, fake nah. need bread for all <laughs> No, you really need bread. No, nah, really not fake bread, bro. Bro. Yeah, I really we need bread. We got no bread. <laughs> Jeez, right. Bradbury, that's crazy. The um, Eagles, they made the playoffs last year. Mm-hmm. What's your expectation for the Eagles this year? With Yeah, go ahead, go first. I feel like this season... It's honestly up to Jalen Hurts, for sure. Oh, for sure. 100%. All the way is on his shoulders. If he can't be a consistent passer with who we got Devontae Smith, we got A.J. Brown, mm-hmm. and you can't be consistent, like, they also got yeah, the they're going to end up letting him go. Let's, let's be honest. They're going to end up letting him go. But that's just how I feel. If he doesn't perform this they year, He should be on the Kyler Murray radar. Yeah. That's I know it's in conference, it. but if he doesn't perform... I know we, we were talking about Kyler Murray possibly going to somewhere like Miami. Yeah. If I can Tua see doesn't it. struggle and if Arizona wants to move off him. Ooh. Kyler Murray. If Jalen Hurts doesn't right? perform, one hundred percent Kyler could be here. It has to be this season that he does but it though. There is one thing though. Like I said, 
Jalen Hurts leaves. Like I said, we got Daniel Jones out of there, so. You'll take Jalen okay. Hurts? But listen, the You'll thing is with the Giants, though, play? the Giants, like, we'll they the Giants, they like old-fashioned football, so they like quarterbacks that sit in the pocket. They like white guys. But even though they drafted Daniel like Jones, <laughs> and Daniel Jones got the Jets, but he literally don't roll out the pocket or run like that. And if he does, he slips and falls. Takes off, and he is gone. Trying to stay upright, and he trips. Your what owners are salivating tackle? watching Archie Manning right now. I was about to say, they're oh, just waiting on Archie Manning. Yeah. Didn't, uh, they tank it for him. didn't Daniel Jones go to uh, Manning camp? Yeah, he had uh, he went to Manning camp he and did. then he also went to Duke and um, their I don't know if it was their quarterback coach or their head coach at Duke. I forget his name, but he like coached both the Mannings at one point or some shit like that. Mm. I forget his name. Mm-hmm. Um, but back to what you uh, the whole the Kyler thing makes sense too. They do have two first round picks next year. I think sure. they can offer more than any other team because I don't. I know Miami still has their first, even though they traded for Tyreek. But I don't think they have. No, they might still have two also. Yeah. Because they, the, they definitely had the 49ers pick, and I don't think they moved that for Tyreek. Yo, they built on the secondary, built on the linebacking core, built on the, the defensive front. They're not going to yep. be ran on all game. Uh, they still have pressure coming off the edge. Brandon Graham's older. They re signed mm-hmm. Fletcher Cox. Uh, Hassan Reddick comes in. Hassan Reddick's Hassan underrated. Reddick's, yeah. yeah. He, he yeah. Is not he's tough. He's he tough. does he's not tough. get enough credit. He's tough. That whole entire defense is looking very, very good right very now. Very good. You got. Uh, uh, because Devontae Smith was drawing a lot of double teams last year. Mm-hmm. Dallas Goddard gets a lot of double teams. Mm-hmm. You get a, one of the, yeah, one of the yep. best deep ball threats <laughs> in the crazy. league. That's crazy. Their team is good. It's Boston stacked. Scott at running back. Their running back core stacked. is good. Miles Sanders. Sanders. Boston Sanders. Scott goes deep. Uh, I got I got to say something for the for the Cowboys and uh, uh, Eagles fans. Y'all really plotted to get Devontae Smith to the Eagles. Cowboys, come on, bro. You gotta do better. <laughs> no, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let's, <laughs> let, let's look deep into deep into that though. They did that. You traded back when you could have got Fields, who I also know you wanted. And who did the Cowboys take? Michael Parsons, who is going to be an All-Pro in this league probably for the next ten years. That boy yeah. is a dog. He that is boy is a unit. Nice. Of a man. And you got Kadarius <laughs> Tony for the pick that you traded back for. Who I like, as we said, but I do like him in receiver. You got Devontae Smith, but, who's better, and then you have Michael Parsons, who looks but, like he'll be an all-world. But that last better. GM that we had, bro, was equivalent to Phil Jackson, bro. We oh, can't Dave Gettleman was a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Gettleman was a jackass. Really equivalent to Phil Jackson. <laughs> but, yeah. um, all right, go back to what you saying. So? No, go ahead, bro. Oh, on the expectations, just because, again, I, there are about six teams a year that missed the playoffs that made it the year before. I would say 100% they're a candidate, mm-hmm. even though they're really good. But because of the division they're in, there's no reason this team should miss the playoffs. They yep. should run away with this division. Not run, I wouldn't say run I mean, away, but yeah, they, they could, but they should win the division. Number the schedule, so I'm about to read off their schedule. Number the Giants' schedule, theirs is going to be just as easy. But this team is well, way better. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, they're playing way a second-place schedule, great. right? Yeah, they're, playing a, they're not even playing a first-place schedule. They're playing a second-place schedule. Wow. The Lions to start the season off. Dope. That's an L. What? Really? Yeah. You really think that? Really? That's one, that was one. Wow. Yeah. When I was doing yeah. schedules, when I was doing the schedules, I was looking like, you know what? Wow. Dan- MCDC comes out week one with his nuts on the fucking table biting kneecaps. I think biting fucking there's kneecaps. a possibility. I think the I, Lions. Put that on Caesars. No. Nah, oh, yeah. Put that I'll on Caesars. Bet that. Caesar. 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 I'll bet that on Caesars. That'll be my week one parlay. Really? Oh, yeah. Lions being the Eagles. We, I we swear. We're going to have you on video with that, bro. I bet. I. When week one comes around, I'm I want the same prediction. Taking, I'm taking the Lions to beat the Eagles week one. Yo, we got to have it before it. and after, bro. I'm yeah. a, I could be 100% on this. I just have a feeling that Lions come out week one, and then there's going to, again, there's going to be all hype in Detroit because they come out week one, and then it's going to be, oh, what was me in Philadelphia because Jalen Hurts underperforms with some shit, and then guess what happens about week four, week five, fucking flips. Justin, we could delete this at any time. No, keep it on. <laughs> yeah. Keep it on, bro. We got keep edited it on. <laughs> Yo, we, got we don't need this out there. No, we, keep it on. Yo, you are going to... Because how smart am I going to sound if this is right? How fucking stupid are you going to sound when Jalen I sound stupid already. So <laughs> <laughs> this sound, I sound stupid already, so like it's going to stay the same or I'm going to look smart. Yo, I appreciate the honesty... And I appreciate the boldness, mm-hmm. but you are about to get smoked. And I'm uh, Devontae Smith, 140 yards. Yo, <laughs> AJ Brown, 100. You're basically saying <laughs> AJ 200 yards. Jordan Davis, Hassan Reddick, Hassan Reddick's pass mm-hmm. pass rushing downs. Yeah. And Fletcher Cox, you're saying that Penny Sloan got that. 
Jared Goff is going to beat them. Yeah. Jared Goff is going to beat that team. I just said the Eagles. Yeah. In, with, a, in a shootout. Upset, in an upset. With, in just upset fashion. Without Jameson Williams. Yeah, without Jameson. Wait, they got, they got Jeff Okuda soon? Wow. He's coming back. He should be coming back, yeah. Oh, what right. is Jeff Okuda going to do? What's he gonna, <laughs> he gonna do? Turn back the clock. That's what he's going to do. Might, yeah, he, really. might, he might get a couple of He can turn back stops, the clock. That's yeah. what's going to happen. He he, he look all right. But, like. No, no. Yeah, his footwork is ridiculous, but that is one person. <laughs> that's, like, that is all they yeah. got on that secondary. Aiden <laughs> Hutchinson's making his presence felt. Yeah. Next game. I'm just, I'm just calling my yeah, shot. Next game. Next game. Right game I got lines. This is going to be a good one. Vikings-Eagles. Eagles home. I got the Vikings. Vikings. Yeah, my boy JJ. Nah, it's Eagles. Going off that game. Eagles at home? Yeah, Eagles home. Eagles at home. That de- their corners are nice. I got, uh, this is, hold up. Let me see. Bradbury and there you say? No. I got Eagles. I'm going to go Eagles. Eagles? I'm, I'm stuck on Eagles that on one. That. After especially week one upset, I'm stuck yeah. on that one. Wait, uh, Eagles Dal- could Dalvin definitely Dalvin Cook is healthy? No, he's going to be Dalvin suspended. Cook's going to be suspended. Give me the Eagles. Mm. Never mind. Damn. Give me the Eagles. All right, I changed my answer. They got good corners. I mean, Damn. they have good run stopping too, but they got better. They got really good corners. Really yeah. good corners. They're gonna be throwing the ball. Yeah, give me the Eagles. Good linebackers. Good deal. Yeah. yeah. Nah. Eagles win that. Forgot about that. Commanders. Eagles. 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 I, I got Eagles starting three and zero. Jags. Eagles. 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 Four and zero for me. Cardinals. Week five. No hop. Cardinals. Car- I'll go Cardinals. And Cardinals steal one. The what did we say? We, what did we say? Guess, we obviously did this game. We did the Cardinals. I don't, I don't remember know. what we said. I think I'm going to no say Cardinals. I'm, pa- I'm pretty sure I said Eagles. No, I, I, don't I think I got Eagles. They're going to start 5 0. What, what is that, 5 0, right? No, I'll say Eagles I, to keep your 5 0 going. Yeah. 5 0 is crazy. <laughs> crazy, right? Yeah. Wow. That's why they're losing they're gonna, one. <laughs> Cowboys. Cowboys? At where? Uh, at Philly. <laughs> Damn. They can't start 6 0. 5 0. They just ran through all of that. Now you got. I could see them beating the Cowboys. Though. What did we just say? What did we just say? They're beating early. I was the like, Cardinals. I don't feel like the Cowboys are gonna. Uh, That's what I'm saying. Do the Cowboys come out and do they? Cowboys come out and beat them. I can see pressure coming. Like Cowboys come the out. The way we're them. thinking about this Cowboys game right now, we're thinking like, oh no, nah. Michael you know Parsons is gonna make his presence. I can see the Cowboys sweeping the Eagles, but still not winning the division because they play the Eagles good. But then I see them fumbling elsewhere because they have a harder schedule. I know it's not an easy, it's an easy schedule, but they have a harder schedule than Philly. I liked when they had Randy Gregory, especially going against the Eagles, because mm-hmm. they had um, they had fast edges that could yeah, really contain them well. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I like Javon Curse as an addition for that, but mm-hmm. we'll talk about that later. Again, I really don't know how. If, I think this team is good, but I don't know how good this team is. So it like, it's has hard for me a to, chance it's hard, to be really good. Yeah, though. it's hard for me to pick games. It's all gonna be if Jalen Hurts is ready to to go through battles against. Aaron Rodgers, uh, well, let's say Tom Brady. Yeah, Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes, like high-level quarterbacks mm-hmm. in playoff action, then we'll see. If but he could play like a top-15 quarterback, to even they'll, be playoffs. Fun, yeah. Yeah. they'll be fun, yeah. They'll be 100% fun. fun. Steelers. I like the matchup for the Steelers, actually. It's I'm, at Philly. I'm saying Eagles win that Cowboys game, by the way. I'm I say up. Cowboys win. They're Fuck. L- Steelers? No, no, no. Wait, right. the Cowboys. Oh, the Cowboys. Got you, got you. Yeah, the Cowboys. Yeah. I got Cowboys. I got six and zero start. I feel. I feel six like CD Lamb gonna have that one breakout season. I feel like that. That's either gonna come He's this nice. season or next season. Like it's gonna come soon. He got pressure on him too. I'm gonna take that. Has to be him. I'm gonna take the Cowboys. Cooper gone is kind of like damn. Right. Yeah. I don't got no one to yeah. lean on. I'm gonna take the Cowboys, and then I'll t- I'll pick them to beat the Steelers. I think they go one and one on that stretch, regardless though. Yeah, I think they, they lose either lose to, to Dallas and beat Pittsburgh, or they'll lose to, or they'll beat Dallas and lose to Pittsburgh. Yeah, I think it goes one of yeah, it goes one and one on that stretch. I, yeah, I agree with that. No, I, I believe that because I don't know Jalen Hurts don't play good against like actual good defenses. I so, mean, yeah, like, that's two rough games back to back. I feel like they're not gonna show up one of those two games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm saying they lose to the Steelers. Me yeah, too, they man. lose to the Steelers. I don't like Jalen Hurts against like. Crazy defensive teams because it's just like they do, yeah. that's six and one though. Yeah. yeah, they come back and beat the Texans. I'm <coughs> probably say. Yes, they'll beat the Texans. Oh my yeah. god, yeah, they'll beat they're the Texans. Wilding. <laughs> <laughs> the Commanders again. Where they split At Washington? Yeah, Eagles might call the division. Philly. They might win the division. Philly. No, they are. Oh, they, they split. The that's what yeah, I think at least. They got split. Chase they Young, to. Montez Sweat running at him. Yep. Uh, yeah, he's gonna. Antonio they're gonna split. Gibson's back, right? That is after a bye though. Fuck. For the Eagles, yep. Wait, when? Week one. Commanders still win that. that yeah, is... give me Washington. 
One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, bye six, week seven, after the Steelers lost. Week eight, bye. After the Steelers lost and they play like a less intense oh, wait, defense. Week nine, never mind. No, they I mean, beat the, they beat the te- they beat the Texans going to a bye, yeah, right? Yeah, the Texans. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, they're, yeah they're, they're gonna come out. They're coming out by and they're gonna lose to yeah, Washington. Yeah, they're gonna come back a little lackadaisical. Yeah. They're gonna see the record. They're gonna be like, ah. Uh, yeah, they're gonna lose yeah, to Washington. Yeah, yeah. That's a trap game. No, not yet. Colts. Uh, I got the uh, Commanders too. Depends on I got Colts. I got Colts. Oh. I just need Jalen to be Eagles. consistent. I got the at Eagles, passing. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna say the Eagles. Well, for seven yeah. of those teams, he's gonna be wild. You gotta think about that. Yeah. They but come back. Season, they, I'm they not gonna play the Colts. Like, gonna be a close game, but. Well, oh no, no, you all good. Uh, what you got? I know. Uh, no, you, what you saying? Again? Oh, I was just talking about how like last season when it came to like Jalen Hurts being a consistent passer. Yeah. Like. None of that. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely none of that. I think Never there's a lot it. of teams he could beat with his legs, though. That's no, there is. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah. A, that's the scary part. Though. They that's had the really best the scary rush. Uh, yeah, Russian best rushing attack in the yeah. entire league. Yeah. Like they're like they're gonna take his head off. They're like early running. Lamar, oh. Lamar Jackson like type of runs. And you saw what happened when they figured him out, right? Like, that he is had to true. start throwing that ball. Yeah, but he's that's he Lamar. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's getting better. Though. Lamar's yeah. gotten better. He's a much better yeah. thrower than a lot of people thought. Yeah. Once they figured him out, he, he had though. to like adjust his game. But we're not talking about Lamar right now. That's Jalen's like a stocky runner that's quick. I don't yeah. know how to yeah. explain it. Oh, but. that video you showed me with that cut, I was like, nah. Yeah, that, Russell Wilson. That was crazy. Nah, yeah, but I like think Jalen's older. Little, Russell Wilson. Yeah, Jalen's a little bit faster. Yeah, maybe younger Russell Wilson about the same speed. He was shifty though yeah. back then. Yeah. But Russell could throw. What's the What's the next game? Packers. L. L. Yeah. Packers. Yeah, L. L. Close game, Packers. Titans. L. Can I call my other shot? Yeah. Titans? Titans, yeah. AJ Brown loses the revenge game. Damn. Actually, actually, no. I, I thought L. about it. I don't know. I thought about it. It was like the corners, and I see like their D lines. Like, Eagles got a solid defense. If they could, if they could force the pass. Win, but Derrick Henry has one of those games. How how are the Eagles with um stopping the run? Yeah, they're I mean, gonna be pretty fucking good. They should like be. last, yeah, they they should last be season though. Last season they only had Fletcher Cox. They got Jordan Davis this year. So was, I think they were still good. Who they got yeah, linebacker? Uh, they got Kaiser White. He's a fast. Like he's he's a good linebacker. And they got any like strong safeties that like play play the line or like nah like uh, box safeties? Their safety is. I can't is it still Michael Jenkins? No, my no, 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 he's done. All right, yeah. <laughs> they got um, Tart, the dude from the. Oh yeah, sorry, we're talking about. Earlier. They got yeah, so yeah, they got Tart. Then they got um, Anthony Harris, Anthony Harris, Bradbury, and um, Darius Slay. Yeah, shit. Yeah, they got. I, mean, Anthony... I might have to take the Eagles on that game then. Never mind. Anthony Harris from the yeah. Vikings. He was. Really I'm gonna take the Eagles good. on that game. They they, they match up really good. On Against defense. the Titans. Yeah. yeah, and they still have Javon Hargrave. As an extra D tackle too, yeah. Dirt. Yeah, give me the. F- and they, I, I know Barnett hasn't Eagles. been that good, but Barnett on de- for depth is pretty good. And they have Josh Sweat. Oh my God. I hope they yeah. stop Derrick Henry. G- give me, give me Philly. <laughs> <laughs> no, give me. Well, because if they yeah. do, you can't throw on them. You can't. The Eagles are just a whole bunch of dogs. Like, like yeah, no, exactly. give me Philly. The only, yeah, like, my only thing is like, I don't know how nice much everywhere. I like Nick Sirianni as a fucking coach. I understand that. Like, I don't know. I mean, how, they have to win this year. Like, yeah, yeah. I, I they give have it, talent at every position. They could say Sirianni's the the reason they lose, and they can give Jalen Hurts one more year after mm-hmm. this year. Yeah, but I don't think if they don't win the division, they don't make the playoffs. They might move on from Jalen. They have two first round yeah. picks. Go get someone. Yeah. True. Uh, Giants. I'm pretty sure we all said the Eagles won. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Chicago. Eagles won. Late season. I don't know if the Eagles win as many games as I said they before. Uh, they would before. They may take their foot off the gas. They got Cowboys, Saints, and Giants. <laughs> they go two uh, and one. Two and one. Yeah, they go two and one to finish. Cowboys. Unless they really like sit all their starters last week because they played the Giants last week. It depends because if like the Cowboys are telling them for the division, they might go hard for that game. That's what the I'm Saints saying. game they might go oh, hard for, Saints and game. they could they could complete it with three and nine. <laughs> what you got, Mark? <laughs> what you got for that Saints game? AJ Brown. We'll put Marshawn Lattimore on that. Oh yeah. Who's stopping Devontae Smith? Who? Yeah. <sighs> CJ. Wait, is it a clip? We're locking of- that up. We're locking that up. And we're taking that win. 
And Jalen Hurts not even consistent. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's gonna be like Tampa and New Orleans all over again. You saw what we did to Brady. <laughs> yeah, the, not in the playoffs though. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, all right, their over under <laughs> is nine. I think we all are, are probably taking the over on that. Yeah, right? over. yeah. yeah. Over? yeah. Wait, yeah, nine's a good ass number though. Like, I'm, that's, that's an easy number. That's an easy year. number. I think this division is kind of easy to read so far. Yeah. Um, Cowboys. You want to move on to the? Let's get the boys. Yeah. You want to do the boys? I right, will do the boys. Yeah. Take it away, Oh, wait, boys. hold on. Wait, wait. What well, we could grade on grade? the Eagles? Oh, yeah. Ten. This is the best offseason I've seen. I hate yeah. giving tens, but I might have to give it ten. Yeah. It has to be a ten. This is the best offseason. Wait, wait, wait. Offseason grade for the Oh, Eagles. ten easily. Ten. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll uh, do it. I'll break my rule. Yeah, and give it a 10. fifteen. Because Brandon said I had to say it's fifteen. Wait, you think? I'm a six. Wait, wait. All jokes aside. You think the Eagles are going to beat my Saints? No, I said they're going to go 2-1 in that stretch. They might, that might be the game they lose. Does anyone think that? That the Eagles beat the Saints? It's yeah. not a crazy thought. It's not a crazy thought. It's actually I can super see crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually insane. All right, on, on to them boys. Cowboys. You want to run down? Take it away. Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of big names left. I don't Like know. Amari Cooper and Randy Gregory. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we all know how their season ended. Yeah. Um, outside of Randy Gregory, they also lost Cedric Wilson, good gadget player. Yes, Lil Collins is. went up to Cincy. Connor Williams left. Greg Zerlin left, and Keanu Neal left, even though he wasn't that good last year. So a lot of they lost some players on that line. Even Dalton Schultz still has no deal after the getting franchise tagged. They resigned a uh, Leighton Van Der Esch to that one year prove it deal, and Michael Gallup got extended for five years, sixty two point five million dollars, coming off of a. Uh, 20 ACL. They also got Dante Fowler to mm-hmm. play edge. Um, key draft picks: Tyler Smith, their first round pick, offensive tackle from Tulsa. While uh, Tyler Lindebaum and Jermaine Johnson were both on the board, big positions of need. And Jake Ferguson, they got in the fourth round, tight end to uh, eventually possibly replace Dalton mm-hmm. or be a good, nice one-two punch with Dalton because I think he has a lot of potential. Mm-hmm. So let's start off with the. I guess most important player, Dak Prescott. Mm-hmm. Does he play like an MVP or does he play like he's and average? He's is a- getting rid of Amari Cooper going to help them? I don't think uh, it does. No. Does it help I don't think him? so. Because no. now I think CD can be a number one. I think CD can, will be fine. Well, you had that luxury of you had Amari, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then you had this stud, CD Lamb from Oklahoma, shout out to you, that has a chance to be... I don't think it's crazy to say he could be, like, a top 10 receiver in this league. There's yeah, a lot be. of receivers, yeah. but I think he could crack that top 10. For, like, probably not, like, consistent, like, genuine, like generally across, like, the league think that, but, like, he'll have a top 10 season here and there. Yeah, I can believe it. Yeah. Like, he, he has, has a talent. He, yeah, he I, hands like glue. It yeah. works. Him and Jerry Judy are, like, in the same echelon for me. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, yeah, I think... Uh, well, I, when that, dra- that draft year, I remember, I liked Jerry and CD above everyone else, and yep. I liked... Uh, Jefferson's three, and then I had Ruggs four. I didn't expect Jeff, uh, Jefferson to be this good. I'm not I didn't expect him to be this good, but I thought he was a top I knew three receiver in that class. Come on, man. I this. thought people were sleeping on I him. Did, I did not know he was going to be like this. Who, JJ? Yeah. He's like generational. Really? He's, I was he's looking at that. He's yeah. looking at Yo, when Diggs, they were getting rid of Diggs, I was like, ah, Diggs is kind of a dog. And then. They had Thielen, though. But no, Adam I thought. Was playing crazy. I thought Diggs was what made Thielen, like the whole entire time. I knew Thielen was good, but mm-hmm. I was like, Diggs is a little bit better. <laughs> Wait, that so, is one of the most balanced trades ever. Yeah, 100%. Ever. Yeah. So really how do you guys feel about, like, when uh, Jamar Chase got drafted? Did you guys feel the same way? He was no, by far I, the number one receiver. Everyone knew I know, but like, JJ yeah. was, like, right there, too. Like, he was making oh, I know. noise. Uh, in well, the thing was is Justin Jefferson, like, I thought people were underrating him. I didn't think he would be... Like, he came in, and after a few weeks, like, it's like, this guy's a top 15, top 10 receiver. Yeah, he was going Jamar's on. faster. I yeah, Jamar, yeah, well, that's yeah, the thing. Jamar Justin faster, Jefferson yeah. was doing They're what both he was... really good. Yeah, yeah they are. Really well, that's good. the thing. JJ was doing what he was doing, and it's like, oh, wait. He wasn't even the number one receiver on his college team. Exactly. Right? And yeah. that guy's coming next year. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. That's how it felt. That was... It was so insane. Justin Jefferson just makes crazy catches, but... um. Jamar Chase is just different yeah. for me. Well, no, he he took, he's just yeah. different. He took, like, JJ, he took the league by storm, and then, like, right after, it was, like, Jamar. Yeah. Like, yeah. that same effect, like, oh, this is crazy. Yeah, well, that's I feel bad for rookie wide receivers this year because the bar is so high. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, it's true. unrealistic at this point. And, like, they set records both years. Yeah, both years. Like, it's not, like, I don't <laughs> expect crazy. Garrett, 
Drake, London, all these guys that come in and do that. They, I, they should be good. They're first round picks, but they don't have to do that. Yeah, no, they don't. Have I to mean, even that. Jalen Waddle had a fucking great year. Yeah, yeah. That's under the radar because of what Jamar Chase did. Broke but the reception. Right? Imagine yeah, a person made a, receptions. Imagine a person made a trade like the the first round because this first uh, first round swap to not paid wide receivers. It's worked out so far. It has. That's why I'm curious. Like, what, what happens if a Tony Eagles? got drafted? Like, uh-huh. yeah. What happens if a person that you weren't sure right away was the guy and well, that's what makes good teams it. and bad teams. Yeah, true. Yeah, I feel you. But all right, uh, you want the over under, or do you want to go through their schedule? We can go. Uh, Dallas, all right. Micah Parsons Dope. is probably going to take a step up year two. They lost That's Gregory. Crazy to say too. Yeah, I know, so right? Good. He was amazing. So good. They got Leighton Vayner Esch back. Uh, they're uh, Diggs. He's going to get a lot of turnovers. They're going to be a. Uh, a team that's going to make a lot of plays on defense. It's either they're going to have great games on defense, they're going to score a lot mm-hmm. off defense, or they're or going to give, give up, up a lot over the top. Yeah. Especially with a guy like Diggs, who, yeah, he has a lot of interceptions, but he also gives up a lot of yards. He's hit or that's, miss. Yeah. A he's thousand hit. yards yeah. given up last year. And I feel yeah. like the offense is going to be hit or miss, too. It can be, yes. It can be. I, I well, don't know. Well, how Zeke wasn't that good last year. Does Zeke no. bounce back a little bit, or does Zeke stay on that decline that he's been on? I like Tony Pollard, too, but... Do you even start yeah. Zeke? Yeah, I don't know. Oh you might start God. Tony I at this start point. Tony I might. I and this is why I feel the way I feel. I'm like, uh, it's like when, Zeke. It, when it comes to the Cowboys this season, it's like, <clears throat> I mean, they can do good, but yeah. then it's like they can, you know. Well, they also yeah, they they're awful. paying Zeke all this fucking money. Yeah, yeah. Like, and this he might not to even be, be your number mediocre. one back anymore. I feel I like I honestly want to feel bad. Mm-hmm. But I don't like Cowboys fans that much. At all. And it's I not agree. even like the Stephen A. like hate Cowboys fan thing. Like I'm on the bandwagon. They are legit, just unbearable. <laughs> they are just yeah. o- like awful fans. I'm sorry to say. I know a few. No, they're not that yeah. bad. A Cowboys some, of them, fan? some of them can be. I, oh, I no, Cowboys fans. Most of them I know are just awful. No, no I, I. They're I just horrible people. That. Literally. <laughs> In general. Yeah. Like I, I don't know how to Besides feel about football. them. Yeah. yeah. Uh. Run through the schedule quick. Yeah, Washington to start the the year. What did we say for Washington? We that? didn't get to Washington yet. Oh, we didn't. No. no. Actually, no. It's, oh, it's the Bucks. You might be looking it's the, the Bucks. It's yeah, it's the Bucks. Yeah. 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 Tampa. Bucks won. Yeah, I got Bucks. Yeah. Tampa's won. Cincy. This is like not even fair. They're. Cincy. Yeah. yeah. Giants. Job. Uh, they won that. They won that. Washington. Cowboys won. Where is it? Yeah. Wait, you said um, uh, you said the Cowboys play Washington week one. No, no, no they, play, they, play, uh, they play Tampa. Tampa. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was okay, there. Okay, okay. He's in our spot. Uh, Washington at Dallas. At Dallas. That's a W. Yeah, Dallas wins. Rams. That's a L. Lost. L. Yeah. Eagles. Like we said, that's, the Eagles. That's a. They're gonna split regardless. So. They're gonna yeah. split. So yeah. All right. Uh, Detroit. W. Oh um, yeah. yeah. They can go they back. They could go either way. Chicago. W. I feel like Green Bay has to lose one into the um the division. I think they may lose to the Cowboys. Like I, I can see Aaron Rodgers Where's taking the game? Him at Green Bay. No. That's uh, no. I can see him taking the foot off the guys. I, That's L. Losing. I, I get where you're coming from. Yeah, he can't be every like Aaron Rodgers has those games where he's like, No, I don't really no, care but it's not much. against the Cowboys. Yeah. Really? It's not usually against the Cowboys, I feel like. Uh, at Green Bay too. Minnesota yeah. late season. Minnesota late season. Minnesota. Minnesota. Giants. Dub. I'm gonna say dub. I think we said dub that. on that for the Cowboys. Yeah. Cowboys yeah. are winning that. Houston. That's a W. Dub. Jacksonville. Uh, I think That's they win. Dub. I'm gonna just Jacksonville say dub. shot. They shake up the. They shake it up a little bit. Philly's you think great. they win that game? Yeah, I think they shake it up because Cowboys always have a loss like that where it's like, you, oh my you skip, god. You skipped the Colts. The Colts was before the Texans. Ah, uh, Colts, my fault. Colts won that. Colts won that. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't then know. They, then they'll beat the you Texans, no. and then they they get yeah they lose to the Jets. But it really all depends on how Matt Ryan plays. Because we have uh, he's a big question mark. We had the Colts losing to the Eagles. Well, I did. Mm-hmm. I had him beating the Giants. But how bad would they beat the Giants? I got, I'm going to say Cowboys for that one. Okay. Philly, we said they split. Yep. Mm-hmm. Tennessee. It's a loss. You're just going to say that every team, bro. No, nah, he said the Eagles. He said the yeah. Eagles are going to beat them. Really? Yeah. I didn't hear that. He's going to yeah. beat them. I was shocked. 
Yeah, I was shocked too. No way. <laughs> nah, nah, I, I was agreeing with the Eagles um, beating Titans. I'm oh, going to say that game's in Tennessee. They're going to go one on one in their last two. They might like split the commanders and beat tennis and lose to Tennessee, or they'll beat Tennessee and then, like, you know, they'll mm-hmm. probably go one on one on that last stretch. Okay. And then Washington. I think they went out 2 0. Washington 2 0. That's in I can see that. Washington, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Commanders win that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Give me yeah, give me Washington. They lose the day. Cowboys beat the Titans. They're going to, and then they lose the Commanders. What's the over? And under? probably cost uh, 10 and a half. That's an under. under oh, yeah. that's an under. Yeah. That's, that's, that's an easy, easy fucking under. bet. They're easy winning under. If nine games one, yeah. at most. Um, What do you grade their offseason, Bruce? Calm. Just calm. I give it like a seven. Marcus? I'm not not really even sure, to be honest. So I'm going to just skip. I'm going to give them a five. They let too many people go. Like, I know they had to because they're paying Dak, they're paying Zeke, they're paying all that money. But... You lost a lot of people. You got hoed on Randy Gregory. Yeah, you did. Yeah, bad. And then I think that that definitely fucked. Also, while well, Von Miller coming out now said he would have taken less money to go to Dallas, but they still like they offered him Randy Gregory's contract, and he wasn't willing to go that low. So you lost Gregory, which you had a deal done. So you probably that probably hindered the rest of your free agency. And then a guy like Von was gonna come home on a home like a hometown discount. And then he also didn't end up coming. So now your pass rush is hindered, even though you do have Parsons. It's just the team, I don't think, got better. And the, you're betting a team doesn't repeat in this division. They haven't done it since 2004. Yeah. So I'm taking the under. They got a five also, offseason grid. I just hate the fans. The offseason suck. Lost Amari Cooper. Don't know. <laughs> C.D. Lamb could be... He could be a true number one. You don't know yet, though. He could. Yeah. You got Zeke paying, what, $18 million a year to average... To cut his jersey in half and have his stomach out. Exactly. <laughs> and do nothing. Yeah, for a crop no, top. Right. Paying $18 million for a grown man in a crop top. <laughs> and because of that, I was going to say three. I was going to say four, but that's a three. Uh, fair enough. Harsh on the Cowboys. Fair enough. I just hate their fans. Not the fans. Yo, last season, y'all should have lost to the me. Chargers. Uh, that was a bullshit call. On uh, It was intentional grounding on Justin Herbert. I won't forget that. <laughs> y'all got a two. I'm going even lower than that. Here we go. Yeah, we now I feel, like, on this, uh, no, we I feel like I got to say wait, something. Wait, it wasn't, it wasn't <laughs> intentional grounding on that play? It wasn't. Bro, the same play happened later on in the season. It's just, it was with Dak Prescott, and they didn't call it. That should be crazy, right? Wait, it was at home? Like, Cowboys home? Uh, yes, it was in it was. L.A., it was still a home game. Come on. Oh, yeah, basically. If, especially because it's Dallas. Hey, yo, Chargers, we don't have the most fans, but all our fans are loyal. No, that's a fact. Yeah. It's true. It's true. I know a couple of Chargers fans. I know a yeah. lot of Chargers fans, considering they're, like, universally made fun of for not having fans. Yeah. yeah and right? it's just, like, we don't have a, a large sum of fans, in one area, but mm-hmm. I feel like they're Well, it doesn't scattered. help that now you guys... I feel like when you played in San Diego, you had more, like, of the loyal fans and, like, a homegrown fan base. You have people in L.A. They're Raiders fans, 49ers fans, Cowboys fans, Steelers yeah. fans. Exactly. All right. Uh, On to the well, now Washington Commanders, formerly known as the Washington football team. The Redskins. What's the, what's the grade on the name? The who? The Redskins? Mm-hmm. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but... I grew up watching the Redskins. I did so. So I I'm going to just throw that out there. What's your grade on the name? My son got three On the name, ups. they, Red Tails should have been the Who name. will make me new Red Tails? I don't hate Commanders. <laughs> Red Tails. They should have went Red Tails. Just because you could have kept the hail to the Red Tails. Wait, what? Now the hail to the, yeah, Redskins. Yeah, yeah, yeah the hail to the Commanders. Washington doesn't. Red Tails? Yeah. It's not bad. I think that, it's a better name than Commanders, I think. I just didn't see commanders coming. I didn't see commanders coming. I, it's just the commies, like the Washington <laughs> commies. Yeah, the com- that's also Damn. why. Like, come on, the Washington presidents. 
That was actually in the running. I, I think. I say I feel like I heard that. For the the presidents were in the running. Yeah, and I know I think Red Tails was in the running too. There was another one. The Warriors were in the running. The Washington Walruses. Walruses. <laughs> yeah, it rhymes, bro. There the Washington Wash Boys. That is not rhyme at all. Actually, I might take that over Commanders. Honestly, is it the Washington point, Wash man. Boys? Because <laughs> they get <getting> washed. <laughs> Low key. All right, well, we all know they made that trade for a quarterback, Carson Wentz. They traded him in a seventh for a second-round swap, a third round, a 2023 third. The catch was that Washington took on all $28.2 million of his contract this year, and they probably outbid themselves, too. No one was, no one was trying to get him. That's what I'm saying. Like they, no one, they outbid themselves 100%. They got their guy, though. They did get their guy. They also got Trey Turner. Is that really their guy? Or not the baseball player. The guard that he played was, for Pittsburgh last year. He did not play well in the Chargers. So yeah. I'm not sure if he's going to play good. Um, Ron Rivera was his coach before, so maybe he can get the best out of him. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but I don't like that signing at all. Just off of, like, Trey Turner was a cool dude and everything like that, but his play on the Chargers did not match mm-hmm. anywhere near his pay. Uh, their defense is... Was gonna win them games most of the time. Yeah. Uh, sweat. Um. How can I not? Uh, Chase uh, Young. Yeah, Chase Young. I was gonna call him Jamar Chase. I was like, I ain't got, I'm gonna mess that up right there. Uh, <laughs> Jamar, Jamar Chase. Chase. Yo, <laughs> he's coming off an injury. You're expecting a big year out of him. Year three. You would uh, hope. Yeah. Yeah. You would hope. Uh, knock he on was wood supposed to be him. what Michael Parsons is. True. Come in, come in day one and just be different. Which I think he was. He was. He, he, was, was, a yeah, he was. Yeah, he was a difference maker, but he still didn't make the noise that uh, Micah did. True. Um, well, that's hard to do. It is, yeah. Micah had, what, 15 and a half sacks? Micah had a... He could have won defense player of the year if TJ didn't do what he did. Yeah. Uh, Terry got paid. Yep. Scary Terry. As he should have. Washington's a bland-ass team. No, no it is. It's a very bland team. Back to what, team. Back to what you really were saying... Boring. Yeah. <laughs> They might have found their guy. They probably didn't. I don't think they even really think they did or yeah. know if they did. They're they, just taking a swing. I mean, again, be. Washington is not, like, the best team to look at in terms of how to treat your quarterback position. Yeah. They also uh, they lost Brandon Sheriff to Jacksonville. He can never stay healthy. They also lost Wick, uh, Ricky Seals-Jones, their uh, tight end. He actually went to your G-man. Um, there's the Dan <laughs> Snyder. Um, controversy and all that with sexual harassment, toxic culture, financial improperty or whatever because oh he didn't... Gosh. I guess he didn't tell the NFL, like, what their revenue really was, so he kept, like, a whole bunch of money that he wasn't supposed to keep. But nice, that's all off nice. the field. <laughs> they got Johan Dotson in their first round. They traded back with the New Orleans Saints. Um, I like Johan. Slight overdraft. They also got Sam Slight Howell. Overdraft. That might be their guy. Possibly, yeah, but true. I don't think he sees the field this year. No, I don't think so either. Definitely not. Yeah, and that's where Carson Wentz could come into play, though. He, yes, exactly. True. Well, exactly. You think uh, Dotson steps up to a uh, wide receiver, too? He has no choice. He really I does. Do. I like his game. He's fast. I like how he plays. The only reason I say it's a slight overdraft because he was my wide receiver six behind Burks. But, I mean, he, uh, if Curtis Samuel comes back healthy and plays good... Johan doesn't have to step up to even two. Curtis no, can doesn't. play the two spot. That's sure. a good receiving core. No, that's not. If Curtis is healthy and Johan, like, turns into, like, who he could be, and then you have Terry who... Yeah, and then Gibson in the backfield. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you have Gibson Gibson McKissick and Gibson. It's not a bad offensive, like, tree of weapons. If you it's think not. about it, last season, McKissick was that number two. He was, yeah. He was. And that and is a running back, by the way. So, uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just feel so underwhelmed by Carson last year. And like that's supposed to be the splash move. Yeah. Maybe Carson yeah. takes it personally. Like maybe he does yeah. pop off. But I think I Adam Humphreys is still there too. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure he's still there. Most likely. Yeah, but probably. what is that's not moving the needle for me on that team. They're no, like no. in a limbo. Well, I'm just saying that Carson can move the chains. In terms of like, yeah, but like that's a, not a bad fourth option. No, he can move the with chains. Johan, yeah, with Johan coming in, that's like that's what I'm saying. Like you add to their receiving core like that. Yeah. I would have gave it one more year or tried out a rookie quarterback before mm-hmm. doing all that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they weren't. That's a bad thing. They weren't like a hundred. They weren't in a position to draft a quarterback. But do you want to take Kenny Pickett or like do you wait for next year? True. Or you hope if Carson sucks, you probably throw Sam in there at some point. 
Yeah, exactly. Just to see what just he has. Just to see what he has. If he if it's like how uh, the Bengals were with Ryan Finley, and it's just, nope, he is not the guy. We're going to draft mm-hmm. the best quarterback in next year's class, then you can move forward. You just, I think that's like a season. Like, it's that type of season that it could be. Unless Carson Wentz is really like, he doesn't have to be like his MVP self. He no. can be half of that. And this might not be that bad of a team. Again, like Jalen Hurts, he just needs to be around top 15. Yeah, exactly. If he, he plays top like 15 top quarterback. 16 to 15, average play. Yeah. Not a bad team. Right. We'll see. They're making the playoffs. He does that. Let's go through okay. the schedule real quick. Jacksonville to start. Uh, it's a win. You know what I want to say on that one? But I think I want to say the same thing. I want to say Jacksonville. Me too. Because I definitely, <laughs> I definitely was looking at week one and I was like, Nah, Is there a world where Jacksonville, Jacksonville and Detroit Jacksonville both win? Dead might you win. got Jacksonville on some upsets. I do. Boo. But I'm going to take Washington on this. Yo, yo put, that, put that on the same parlay. The Lions I will. That'll probably pay me out well. I'll even put, the, I'll put, I'll put the Jets on that parlay, too, against the Ravens. The mm, last oh, don't do that. Don't oh, do that. That hits. <laughs> that hits. <laughs> nope, nope. Uh, right, that one hits. This is where you bug uh, <laughs> That one hits. Healthy Ravens defense. Nope. Mm, yeah, uh, nope. Won't week one. That one hits. No, no, no. Lamar Jackson. No. Thank you. So, uh... Washington, the Chargers started off against them the last two years. Mm-hmm. Uh, Washington usually starts the years off pretty well. Their defense is healthy. Like when Washington has a healthy defense, they're kind of, kind of st- uh, what's it called? That's a good to, defense. Uh, yeah. yeah. So they're hard to move the ball on. The defense is healthy. I got, I got Washington week one. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna be that bold. You? He said. Yeah, he said. Oh, yeah. Washington, Washington. I got the Jags. Really love it. Bruce? Jackson, man. I'm going with Justin. I love man. it. Detroit. I don't know. I just feel it. Ooh. Um, oh, that that's that that's what I'm calling. Detroit goes through another start of the year. All right, see, see, now Detroit. he's literally bugging. No, I'm t- Washington's beating Jacksonville. Detroit's starting to another. Wait, who who the Lions play the first game? Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's literally wilding. <laughs> That's two hard games, though. That's yeah, two going hard to games, bro. You think Jared Goff could come out no, with like that type of energy? Yeah, yeah. about to say. Yeah, me too. Right, yeah. That type of energy? Commanders Jared didn't Goff? even sound right. We said Philly won that game. Yeah. Dallas. I think they split. They're going to split, yeah. They're going to split. So it's one of the two. For me, I see Dallas splitting. Yeah, they probably split with Washington also. Washington probably splits mm-hmm. with. They probably go three and three in the division. They probably split with each team. Probably. I can see that. Yeah. Tennessee. 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 Yeah, I'll say Tennessee. Again, this is all, like, I'm just trying to think, like, well, if Carson Wentz plays like this, they'll fucking win. If Carson Wentz plays like this, they get smoked. Like, yeah, it's exactly. tough. I got Tennessee. Chicago. Commanders. Washington, yeah. Command. Damn. You <laughs> have every game the Bears lose. They yeah, they're not gonna be good. Oh, yeah, they're the so bad. Suck. Mm-hmm. Like they at least gonna win. They're gonna Bro, wait till we get garbage. to the north. I feel. Yeah. I feel like. Yeah, exactly. No, on all, 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 all honesty, I feel like the Bears gotta at least sneak in and it gotta be against the Commanders or the Giants. So? At least one of those two. The Giants, I can the, see that. Oh, the Giants and the right, Commanders bro, so you're are gonna not have to shoot out. That's crazy. I knew I should never said Giants, but no, Giants and Commanders, like. Only teams that I really see the Bears actually gonna beat, like they they're gonna sneak one against one of them. You think the Cowboys are better than? So I, I take the Bears on this one. Seattle, you don't think they can beat Seattle? Who? Uh, I think Seattle. Chicago. Ooh, nah, nah, nah. Chicago should win that game just based should. off of quarterback matchup. Yeah. yeah. Who's yeah, Seattle's quarterback? Cor- again? Cornerback? Yeah, Drew Locker, Geno corner? Smith. Corner oh, to wide receiver. No, yeah. Quarter. <laughs> like I don't think. It yeah, I know, but corner to wide receiver matchups. Okay. Like from what side? Like from Seattle? Chicago to Chicago guarding Seattle? You think that DK, no, like DK yeah. and Tyler Lockett are going to kill the corners? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you might be right about that. You can that. kill the corners, but your quarterback. But yeah, Drew, is Drew Lockett the getting the ball? Who's yeah. throwing yeah. you the ball? <laughs> yeah. 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 Let's figure that out. I don't know. I think Metcalf will go crazy against him. He series. could. No, I, you know what? I wouldn't <laughs> be shocked. He really could. Like, I wouldn't be shocked. All right, what's the next game? Green Bay. Green Bay. So you got you got yeah. Green Bay sweeping? What? Sweeping, like sweeping uh, the whole division? Yeah. They probably will, honestly. Okay. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, Indy. Uh, maybe Philly. Philly might sneak that one. That's the only one that I can see beating them. Yeah. Indy. Um, Commanders. Does Carson get his revenge? No, he doesn't. No, I Colts. got the Colts. Yeah, Colts. Colts. Uh, oh, if you say that, yeah, Colts. Yeah. Carson went under pressure in that <laughs> Yeah, no. Minnesota. 
Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah. Honestly, no funny shit. Washington team. might. I Washington think. might sneak Green Bay, but I'm not going to say they will. Okay. Philly. 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 They're yeah. splitting it. Yeah, we already said Philly. Yeah, they're going to split. Houston and Atlanta. Commanders. Wait, what? What did you say? Houston and Atlanta. Commanders and uh, Commanders. Yeah. yeah, they won both. <laughs> yeah. Giants. I'm going to say split. Giants again. Off the bye. Yeah, we say Giants is being the commanders every time because Daniel Jones. You said they, that. No, they I could. Think they they could. Whoa, whoa, but whoa, I'm going to say they split. Whoa, I think whoa, whoa. they do. They I think they sweep them. Oh, I know. I agree. I think they could. Too. I think they sweep them. said that too. Something about, about like that. Giants and uh, commanders games. No, nah, no funny shit. I'm with that. Giants sweep them. They go two. Oh, the commanders so, go two and four. Giants sweep them. Giants sweep them. They go two and four in division. Really? Yeah. I think a lot of both. I think it's a shootout. It does, right? Giants sweep them. It does. I think the score is 3 3 in OT. It's gonna yeah, be a my, yeah. game. And yeah, it's, it's, either, not, it's not like you're not actually no, no, no. I take that. Not I take that back. I like Carson Wentz too much. They're gonna they're gonna split with the Giants. Okay, that's better. I could agree on that. Uh, split with the Giants. San Fran. I got San. San Fran. Yeah. So it's cool. San. Cleveland. <laughs> Depends if Deshaun's back. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. If I, mean, I need this fucking suspension to be tough. Like, Somebody just out. needs to say like, something. Someone about tell it. me if he's out for the whole year or not. He has to be. There's no way. I'm gonna say. Washington? Okay. Maybe. I don't know. That's a tough one. Even without, like, if Deshaun plays, then it's fucking Cleveland. But oh, even with, without Deshaun, though, it's like, well, Cleveland still has a lot of, like, talent everywhere. Yeah, but look yeah. at what Baker did with it. Nothing. Yeah, I know. But, like, <laughs> that's light years. <laughs> you got a game manager in there now with Jacoby, so. Maybe. That's true. I don't know. That's a tough one. Uh, Dallas, last one. I got Dallas. They're gonna split. So they're yeah. gonna split. They're gonna, well, what, if they lost they're the first one, they'll split. win. If they win the first one, they'll lose. Yeah. All right, what's over under? We are sitting at seven and a half. That's oh. a tough fucking number. I'm gonna say over. Over. That's I'm, a tough I'm number. Smashing the over. Two in the division, under. Two over. I'm saying. Under. I'll take That's over. That's tough. Right today. I'm leaning. You guys are kind of talking me into over just because I'm like looking. Well, eight and nine sounds like that sounds like a good number for them. Like going eight and nine. Yeah, splitting up a lot of these teams. They yeah. got Atlanta. They got some easy games. They got uh, what you say, lose to Detroit, but Jacksonville, Detroit. I think they could split that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think. They um. Can end up winning eight. I got them going I seven and ten. Yeah, I, can see, I can see that happening. That's the problem. Like seven and a half is such a good number for it because I can see them going seven and ten. I can yeah. see them going eight and nine. Yeah. Yeah. Now, so do you see I'm gonna stick the with the playoffs. They, yeah, exactly. They could mm-hmm. fucking make the playoffs. Like if Carson Wentz plays like that, yeah, they might win the division. That's Washington what I'm five. Yeah, make it to the playoffs to get yeah, stomped five. on. They could, like, one of these draft picks could be a hit. I don't think that they yeah. really did anything to move the needle in either direction. Yeah, I, think I don't think they got like well. terribly worse, and I don't think they got like amazingly better. Amazingly better. Yeah. yeah. What it a, depends if if the. Receiver pick work out, works out with Dotson, and Curtis Samuel comes back. They'll have three good receivers. Yeah, I agree. Chase Young's come, if he comes back, like nothing happened with his ACL. That's gonna be a great defense again. But that's if I don't really see them getting too much better on paper, at least this off season. I give them a six. Yeah, I'm between like a four and a five. Like they. Added some players in the draft. I like Johan Dotson, even if like I don't think he should have been drafted that high. Yeah. Um, they did Scott. They did resign Terry. That was smart. Like getting him extended. Like not letting a guy like that walk is good for your culture. It's just the quarterback position is such like a carousel with them. Like I don't know. That's all. I'm like between a four and a five. I got a question. What was their uh, record last season? Does anyone know? I got you right now. Wrote down somewhere. They went seven and ten. Without I could see Chase them Young. doing that. Yeah, that's like the yeah. same thing. But you never know. With Dotson, maybe. Yeah, maybe they won a game two maybe more. They go eight, eight, two eight, more nine, games, nine, maybe. eight. Sure. I mean, hopefully. Maybe oh. they sneak and depending in on ten. how Philly does, nine and eight could be a division one. Maybe yeah. they sneak in ten. You never well, know. What, what did exactly. you guys give them? I mean, a last four. year, eight eight four. Six. I, yeah. I could see that. Four, five, or six. I'm going to just say five. They didn't have Chase Young. For just getting a And they didn't have Marcus Sweat a lot of the year. I think Gibson hurt. Antonio Gibson hurt. A lot of people were out last Curtis year. Curtis Samuel hurt. Yeah, yeah they won seven. Yeah, yeah. 
And then and now just, you got a, a so you make an upgrade quarterback. That's yeah. the question. Like, is, ta- is Carson Wentz going to play better than Taylor Heineke did last year? He should, but will he? Heineken? Yeah, pretty much. But uh, Heineke, like, riled up his teammates, got him to play behind yeah. him. He did. He had yeah. the team behind him. He did. He had the locker room. He did. He now did. we got to see if Carson can do that. Crazy, yeah. yeah. All right, so how's the division play out, and what's a bold take? Eagles. Cowboys. Uh, Sorry, Bruce. I, w- I was thinking about Commanders for a second. Eagles, Cowboys, Commanders, Giants. Yeah, I feel uh, like they're very similar ones. <laughs> Bo take. Uh, what is going to be it? I'm going to take Antonio Gibson to be the best running back in the division. Damn. I, I like that, though. That's not bad. From like a fantasy that. perspective, that might actually be, like, a thing. Like, that might possible. really happen. Yeah. About that. But even, but, like, in just general, that might happen, too. All right, how you got the division playing out? I got Philly and Washington and Dallas Whoa. and the Giants. I like that. Ooh. Giants, Whoa. yeah. And my bull take, I think, even though I just said Philly wins this division, I think the Commanders take it. I think the Commanders win 11, 12 games. I think they take it. Wow. Yeah, I think I think Carson I Wentz it. plays... Wow. I mean, he didn't. He wasn't the worst quarterback last year. No, he. he and look, if he, he, just he lost them that game, wasn't he just saying he they did. were about to lose mad games? Were you saying lost? Yeah. 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 No. But they, he <laughs> no. did. He had twenty-seven touchdowns, seven interceptions. That's a really good fucking that's ratio. A, yeah, that's a like when you look ratio. at contacts and watch him play, you're like, what the fuck are you doing? Sometimes. But, and who do you have? Michael Pittman and so too. Yeah, Michael Pittman and uh, I think Ty like, played. I, like I don't Michael know Michael Pittman. Pittman. He's not bad. He's not bad at all. But that's it though. That's all he had. Yeah. Now he goes. Is Jonathan Taylor catching that many passes? But Jonathan Taylor makes you play. Well, not like Derrick Henry. He had a but way better line, too. Yeah, did, that's true. And his line is crazy. He just didn't have good receivers. But that receiving core, if he went, if he had 27 and 7 with basically just Michael Pittman and Jonathan but Taylor, if you he's think, got three receivers and two running backs. But what do you think makes a QB? A, a good O line or good receivers? I think QB makes Both. QB. It's everything. like give and take. Like a wide receiver could. You know, make a contested catch or something, but your O line is buying you time to get that ball to him. Yeah. So it really depends. Like which out? Yeah. It's it's both. Like they both help. I feel like out immensely. I feel like having an O line is definitely way more important than having receivers. Because if you can't get that ball off, that's it. Yeah, it doesn't matter who you got out there. It really yeah. doesn't matter at all. That's just uh, how I feel personally. You're getting sacked in the second. Yeah. I don't know. The thing you about Carson Wentz is. He is, like, if his head's not clear, I don't see him being a good QB. I think you got to be, like, a, a cerebral type of dude to be a quarterback and win in the NFL. I don't see that out of him a lot of the times. Maybe he turns MVP Carson. You can see some, but. Turns back the clock. Yeah, but. <laughs> That's a big if. What, 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 what would you rank the Colts, like, receiving court last year? I, I feel like it was probably, like, top 15. It was, like, it was it was okay. They had Pascal. It they had. It wasn't the worst. Uh, you said that with confidence. They had Pippen. <laughs> Who was their tight end? Last Mo Ali Cox. Yep, Mo Ali Cox. I mean, the addition of having was T Y. I don't know. He was T-Y hurt for a little he bit. Yeah, he really wasn't. Yeah, nah, he didn't do How much. How old is T Y? He's a free agent right now. Actually, like thirty-two or something like that. Really? Yeah, he's older yeah. now. He's up there. When did he get drafted? I want to say like 2011, 2012 ish. Mm. But also, it's kind of hard to get the maybe twenty thirteen or fourteen. It's just like no, not fourteen. Back, definitely, but it's like. Almost like the best player in the league. Or Jonathan Taylor? Yeah. Jonathan you you Taylor got the best O line with the best running back in the league. You're gonna run the ball. Yeah. It's like why not? <laughs> yeah, it's a no brainer at that point. <laughs> yeah. So like most of his receivers are not getting the touches that they really deserve. I wouldn't say deserve because look at their team, it's like the best O line with the best running back. Yeah, the exactly. League. They're yeah. built to run. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you wanna wrap this one? Yeah, I got Eagles gonna win the division. Uh-huh. I keep I don't know who's finishing second. I I'm gonna lean Cowboys, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't be shocked if the Commanders doing it. I wouldn't even be shocked if they even win the division, but I don't think they do. Giants probably end up finishing last. They have the farthest to go, but they do have a bright future. They're gonna have picks. They're gonna have money eventually. But I do think it, 
The Eagles, there's no reason they don't win this division. They have a pretty f- easy schedule, mm-hmm. like most of the divisions do, but they have a fairly easy one in just general by, like, matchups and when they play teams. Yeah. And the most talent, I think, by far of any of these teams. Um, I don't know if I have any crazy bold predictions for this division. Outside of maybe Carson Wentz is statistically the best quarterback. Maybe. It's possible. Swad's a bold prediction. <laughs> maybe. I'm not jacking it. <laughs> Marcus, what about you? Um, I got the Eagles, Cowboys, Giants, and Commanders. The only reason why I put... Wow. Hear me out, though. The only reason why I put the Giants over the Commanders... It's because their schedule. It's so easy. I feel so you. So they have it the is. easiest schedule in the division. So I feel like they might they might just slip past the commanders. But that's just. He ain't saying because Daniel Jones took a leap, Bruce. If he said because Dan- he sees Daniel Jones no, taking a leap, I'm, not, I'm just saying that because of their schedule. I'm not, I'm not saying like, Daniel schedule Jones is cheese. my king. I don't Chicken. want him to be my king. I, I, want, I, want, I want a great QB to be my king. But, yeah. Bruce, if you guys win games, it's worse uh, draft odds at that point. You guys want to be bad if you want to keep. You want to tank, so you're being counterintuitive right now, Bruce Lee. I'm gonna be honest; they're not gonna Cap- be bad enough. <laughs> they're probably not. Gonna, oh, even no, if they lose I don't a lot, want them. Gonna be I never too, said I wanted. Enough. I never said I wanted the Giants to make the playoffs. Never said that. I just said, you know, like for these other like mediocre teams, I feel like they're just not gonna get bullied by them. They're gonna they're gonna show them something. Like, okay, fair enough. But my like, bold take. Is that if Jalen Hurts is a consistent passer this season with the receivers he has, I feel like he's going to be the best quarterback in his division. Okay. We'll take. Okay. Not fair enough. I can see it. Because I feel like Dak is like consensus. Like, yeah. He's Dak the best. is like, definitely. But yeah. That's where we'll see. All right. I got Eagles, Cowboys, Giants, Commanders. Okay. Yeah. Bold take is the, the, if the Giants do win their games, I want I want I want to say Quan to get that thousand yard season this season coming up. I know nobody sees it because he's injury prone and the line is not like you know like that. But so technically, your bold take is Saquon stays healthy. Saquon stays healthy. <laughs> I he just get, thought of a bold take. He gets, you know what's crazy? That really is a bold take. No, a super bold get, take. Yeah. Look, bro. Look, right. He's he's one of the good catching running backs, you know. Uh-huh. They, they they just might have him out there on the routes, man. Just get his rec yards. Try to save him a little bit. Oh yeah. Team for what? They're they gonna just stay they on the field. They're gonna yeah. run. They're gonna they run Daniel the field, Jones. Yeah. Actually, run Daniel Jones because y'all are just gonna get rid of him next season. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I'll put Daniel Jones at running back. I just <laughs> put, put Saquon at QB. No, no, do QB option with Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna get ripped by every single Not linebacker. Really. Every he has a phone problem one. already. Exactly. I thought I just saw a full tape that I I remembered that I had from a while QB ago. Option. No matter unless they win two playoff games or win a fucking Super Bowl, maybe like they'll like if they win one playoff game, he still will. Mike McCarthy gets fired at the end of the season, okay. regardless of if even if they win the division and get bounced. Like if they don't make the playoffs, he definitely gets fired. I think. All right, and then Sean Payton. Sean coming. Payton steps in. Yes. Yeah. I think I think Jerry Jones will throw the bag know that hurts. to get him back to Dallas, and I think that happens. I think Mike. I think he already has Mike McCarthy out the door already. He okay. just doesn't want it. He can't do it yet. Uh, well, uh, if that happens, you heard it. Like that's you, hundred mm-hmm. percent. That is a, a I just, crazy I just, I think, Yeah, I think I think it already is kind of in motion. Somewhat just behind the scenes, yeah. yeah. I think he already wants. He, Why are you Mike, shaking your head at Marcus that? Marcus doesn't Mike, want it. Mike's done. I think it to it. That makes the division. Nah, that's one of the goats, nah, bro. I'm, I'm He's a good oh, ass coach. Oh, another, another bold take. My chest touch here. Rookie, rookie defense player the year, Kayvon. Odds makers probably wouldn't say it's that bold, but he there's a very good chance he wins it. I'll say that. Yeah, there is a good chance he wins it. I feel like there's a lot of good defensive players this year. It's that's what that's what I'm saying. No, nah, it's, it's, it's there's bold. a lot of pass rushers too, and pass rushers generally win it. So, I'll take it. It's a bold take. I like it. Nice. So. There's the NFC East. I guess YGC out. Yep. Yes, sir. Catch y'all next time. See you.